Good evening and welcome to the Riga Arena in Latvia. It's Latvia versus Turkey. It's round two of the FIBA Basketball World Cup qualifiers. It's a full house and we are just about ready to go. Ten minutes from tip and this is looking like a massive matchup between two huge basketball nations. Latvia, Turkey in Group I, Serbia and Greece and Belgium. Great Britain still to come this evening. Three windows away from making the FIBA Basketball World Cup Finals next summer. Each window has two games, so six games for these teams, and it's the top three teams from this group will progress. And of course, your round one, round one results and standings are carried forward. So every game is massive, has been massive, from the very first game in round one. And we're at now at round two, game one. And Turkey, Shane Larkin will be key. 7.3 assists, number one for Turkey and number two in the whole of the World Cup qualification campaign. But they've also got J.D. Osman, his first appearance in the World Cup qualifiers as well as Falcon Kormas and Alperin Schengen, who's now in the NBA as well. So that's Turkey. They were two and two in their group. They were 22nd in the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2019. And now Latvia on their home floor and with one very special player amongst a number of great players that will be appearing for Latvia this evening. Kristaps Porzingis standing at seven foot three. And we'll come to him shortly. But Porzingis and Dearest Bertans, the captain, 32 years old, playing in Real Betis. Rodion Skarouch just signed in Spain as well. Marax, Marias, Porzingis. Here he comes, looking focused, really focused. Hasn't played in the World Cup qualifiers yet. Played at Eurobasket 2017. Yanis Strelnik, Klaus Chavez. Number one in rebounds for Latvia in these qualifiers. And Otto Skurups and Krista Zorix, 47 and 66 for Latvia. Two young players, 22 years old, Kurups and Zorix is 24. Playing for Pasconia and Bef Riga. And Luca Banchi is now the head coach of Latvia with Yanis Gelaitis as his assistant. And there is Paul Zingas. Huge night for Latvian basketball, huge night for European basketball. We'll pause for the national anthems.
Liverpool. We've now accompaniment the Latvian national anthem sung perfectly by everybody here. Latvia in the Riga Arena in Riga Latvia and Porzingis. You can see at halfway how big a key fact is he going to be. He's going to have to play huge throughout these qualifiers to get Latvia there. Of course, they failed so, they were so close to getting through to the 2019 FIBA Basketball World. They needed to beat Montenegro by, Montenegro by eight more and they beat them by six and missed out. And as I said earlier, Turkey finished 22nd in the finals. They will want to go better than that. They have a very talented group of players and some young players coming through. And Ergin Ataman in charge of them at the moment. As we have this amazing stretch of international basketball. We see Porzingis again with a lot of attention on him. I'm sure he sold a lot of tickets by being here. But his team have done well. Five and one. The only game they lost in the round one was game day one against Serbia. They lost by one. They turned that over uh, with interest later on in the qualification. They won five straight games and they're coming in. Obviously strengthened. The core of the team is strengthened by Porzingis being present. And also Davis Bertans as well, playing with the Mavs in the NBA. Turkey, we'll look at the starting five shortly. And there's Sir Tachamba. Ever present for Turkey. Mozingas played in Eurobasket 2017. Where he averaged 23.6 points a game, six rebounds, over 23 efficiency. He'd be looking for something like that for this weekend in these qualifiers. Eurobasket 2022, so this is huge. Teams that are in the Eurobasket 2022, which starts next Thursday, will be using this as massive preparation for that and to progress their World Cup qualification. Let's listen into coach. So we're just moments away Four from this huge game, Paul Zingis representing Latvia. Can he inspire the rest of his team? The big, big things. There's a big crowd in here tonight. Luka Benke in charge. Lots of experience, international experience. So we're underway. It's Latvia in the dark uniforms, Turkey in possession, taking the basket to our left on the screen in white with the red trim. Pick and roll, nice pass underneath. For court match, it has to come back out. Long range two with a bit of fade, his short ball's loose. And the block 
from Paul Zingis. Not in this house. Three points, there is up. Nice pass by Paul Zingis, shots just off. Shots up from deep is in and out for Jenny Osmond. Playing for the Cavs this year in the NBA. Stranix. Ball just getting stuck. Porzingis miles out. Just off with the three. Of course, he can play from beyond the three-point line. I think he can cause a lot of damage underneath as well. Let's see where he chooses to play the most. And no chance of Marnie attacking the basket. There's the block from Porzingis. You've got a shot. If he's anywhere near, you've got a shot fake him or just get. Get the ball to someone else. Osmani is good for three. And first score of the game, Turkey by three. Bertrands. Three pointer in the corner is good, and both teams heating up early from behind the arc. Roland Smith. Barcelona now with Zalgiris at the one game versus Serbia in the qualifiers. With 19 minutes there, he'll be important tonight. Shots up and nailed by Urchin Osmani. Now they've got a lot of weapons, Turkey. You've got to pick your poison, and both times they've left Osmani wide open and he's knocked it down. Just shoot balls loose. And Turkey come away with a long rebound. Awesome. Good defense on the perimeter by Strelnix. Shot clock running down, three points off the dribble is good! And it's that man, Shane Larkin. 17.5 points a game and 7.3 assists. And Pozingas, I think I like him underneath. Let's get inside and use that 7 3 frame to really put Sertak Yamba under pressure. Singers knocks down the free throws. Turkey lead on the road. Larkin on the Euro League with Angelo Efes this year, beating Real Madrid in a thrilling final. Off one leg, no good for Turkey, and away come this tight knit Latvian unit. Porzingis way downtown, just short, but good rebound. No good, balls loose, Porzingis! Comes in and skies for the rebound and throws it down, and that gets the crowd and everybody off their feet. The unicorn doing his thing there. And a block, team block there, but Porzingis in the thick of it. Strunex and this communication between Bertans on that play. Good strong. 
sack. And body control by Shelly Osmond. And there's the pausing well behind the to jump. It's so long. It is a specimen. And there is Porzingis just coming across using that wingspan. Nice play. And that got Porzingis moving. Really nice play. Again by Urchin Osmani. He's got eight points early. Strelnex. Open shot. He's good for three. Both teams on fire. From behind the arc, halfway through the first quarter, electric atmosphere here in Riga. Osmani closely guarded by Porzingis, who just swats it. He hardly jumps. Great body position by Porzingis to smother the attempt from Osmani. Extra pass. Patient play. And it's rewarded with a three, and Latvia take the lead early. 13-11. What a game. Davis Bertans. Knocks down the three, and that was a really smart extra pass by Bolzingis off the bounce. Very shot fake. The three was good. Latvia doing it as a team. 19 assists a game. Turkey, they have two of the top ten assist makers in their ranks. So Larkin just misses. Pass ahead. Back outside for Maris. Porzingis slips, bounce pass. I think he can do his most damage as a facilitator. Great bounce pass off the jump stop. Fundamentals to the highest order from Porzingis. Nice finish by Maris. Four point lead for Latvia. Larkin, great pass. But they can't get it to go. Sir Zamba. Davis inside early, no look bounce part that pass back out to Paul Zingis, who drains the three. And Latvia by seven. Full house at the Riga Arena being treated. It's a high-level basketball here. Sally Osman inside outside dribble attacks, penetrates, catch and shoot. That is tough. From Falkland Cockness, the 76ers player. Averaging 7.6 points a game for them in 67 games in the NBA. His first appearance in the World Cup qualifiers. Mazingas just got to take the back, comes to him, and he's doing it at the moment in rhythm. Little fade away there on the baseline. Osmani. I think Latvia is saying the role players are going to have to beat us. We're not going to give Shady Osman Os Os and Port Max and Schengen. And he comes in much time. Oh my goodness! Paul Zingis unconscious from behind the arc. That was miles behind the three point line. It doesn't matter. He doesn't he didn't hesitate. He's doing it all. Assists. Two's on the baseline, and that's the latest input from Kristaps Porzingis. A big, big three for his country, and it's timeout Turkey.
some of the highlights, and it's Porzingis. Just no box out for him, because he, he plays so much outside the three-point line. Often he's not going to get boxed out. He's unimpeded and throws it down, and then he pulls up for the fadeaway. That's tough. He's 7-3 and plays like a guard. It's, it's the modern day. All cool. All action. Seven foot three. Frame of Kristaps Porzingis. A big reason why Latvia lead by nine on their home court. They were both in the same group, Turkey and Latvia, in the 2019 qualifiers. Split the games there. Oh, same group in round one of the 2019 qualifiers. Larkin attacks. Goes straight at Crystal Zorix. And he's got Zorix to commit the foul. Zorix Pefriga, he's 24 years old. That is a tough matchup for him. Shane Larkin, top player, and he's at the free throw line. James Burson is in, that's his own Burson. Eighty-six percent from the free throw line. Just, he's played for this national team. He's been a major part of this national team for a number of years now. Shots up, and they're all at it. This time, Davis Bertans knocks down the three. He's been six foot nine. He's not quite the seven three of Porzingis, but he's able to elevate and shoot over the defense. Our from Shengun is in. And he's having problems. Adjusting to the pace and the passion and the energy from this Latvian team who understand how big this game is. Don't forget, they're 5-1 from their round one group. All results carried forward. The only loss was to Serbia in game play one. Of, of round one, they've won their next five and they're in control here. With, with two minutes remaining in the first. Inside. And great play and concentration and control from Cavaz. Klaus Chavez gets it to go. 26-year-old playing in Poland at Pazorka start. He's played all six games, eight and a half points a game. And he's number one in rebounds at 5.7 rebounds. Big moment again for him as he drains the free throw. It's just amazing what a full house can do to lift your team to maybe even bigger levels than before. They're not at Eurobasket, as I said, which starts next week. This World Cup qualification on the back of just missing out for the 2019 edition is big. And has won too many steps there for Seamus Hazard. Been a better player. Just played a couple of times in these qualifiers versus Great Britain. One. So it's some pressure up the floor by Turkey. Zurich with the inbounds. Number 66. That was clever. Melly Ramatolu committing the foul from behind there. Under a minute remaining, first quarter. Rodion Skurus is in. Well, Latvia shots up off right. Who's rebounding for? Latvia or Turkey, and good, strong rebound by Upper and Schengen. And 
boxing fouls. But these are big free throws for Schengen. And for the Houston Rockets this season. Nine point six points a game. Schengen in 20 minutes of play. Five and a half rebounds. Made the Olympic qualifying tournament in 2020. 11.3 points a game in that. And six rebounds, two assists. And the Eurobasket 2022 qualifiers. Averaging 12 points and over seven rebounds a game. He is important for his country and he is needed right now as he knocks down the free throw. He's 20 years old. Future, big future of Turkish basketball. Zorix brings it out. 10 seconds on the shot clock, waits and just steps through in rhythm. That was beautiful. Just sized everything up as he attacked the basket. Mature move from the 24-year-old, number 66 for Latvia. Turkey will get the final possession. Penetrate. Attack. And the floater is good by Manotolu. Still time. Still time. Shots up. And it's good for three. Kristen Zorix. Almost in slow motion, so smooth across the halfway. Porzingis is saying, Well, how did you do it? Or can you show me how you did that? Because that is tough. We're going to have to see if it had left his hand before end of quarter buzzer. The referees are just checking. <laughs> referees Adam Zoropovich, Sergei Zeschuk. And Alenka Skreblin. The lights were on, but that's still tough because he's going to his right. He's playing with some real calmness in this game. It's going to be tight, but it's a real good look for Sorex. Whether it's in or, or not, it's going to give him a lot of confidence going forward. He's already made some nice plays leading up to that moment. It's going to be very tight. It's almost instantaneous as he lets it go. The crowd on the court side going crazy. It's a massive court. So these teams meet again later in the round in Turkey, and every point is crucial, every play is massive now. Let's see what the referees decide. I don't think that's correct. It was so close. I think as he left his hand, as he left his hands, or maybe a moment before the clock expired. End of the first. That'd be a 31. Turkey 20. Talked about the influence of Paul Zingis. 12 points already, three rebounds, two assists, 18 efficiency. And there's the 2.3 point free throws from both teams. Neither team's missed a free throw. Four of six and six of ten from Latvia from behind the arc in one quarter. Four of six for Turkey. And there's the best players, and there's been plenty. Of course, Paul Zingis has had. Three blocks as well. It's not just his offense, it's his defense as well, but Turkey and Hunt tough. Nice skip pass into the corner for the three. And the step back from Love, and that is tough. That's a lateral step back to the right. Porzingis not picked up. November. Don't forget, download the app. The court side 1891 get all the streams every game around the World Cup qualifiers. Back underway, second quarter here in Latvia. Hope you're enjoying the game. It's a thriller as we thought it would be. Step back, quick release. It's good. Latvia are playing inspired basketball here. 
Turkey just got to hang on to their coattails. Ramos playing tough deep. And Downstream, coming from low to high, and to make sure the screens are set and still. That was by 14. Nice pass inside, and the little drop off, beautiful play by Zorix and Chavez. With the finish, Klaus Chavez. 28.5 points a game in all six of the FIFA Basketball World Cup qualifiers round one. And this is game one of round two. Great D. And we're off again, Roddy and Skurruts. Just, he slows down, the defence keeps going downhill. They are playing literally heads up basketball here. Great look around there from Skurruts before he let it go, and... and substitutions for Turkey. Sitting, and I'm sure he's enjoying being, being back part of the national team. And certainly putting on a show today. Not just him. The whole team is playing inspired basketball, both ends of the floor. And Alper and Schengen. He may only be 20, but he's got a big, big role to play tonight here in Latvia. Latvia go and play Great Britain on Sunday in England, in Newcastle. Lomash brings it out. Screen coming from Chavez. Ball's not loose. Shot clock running down. Five seconds. High screen. Shots up. Off. Offensive rebound again and kicked out but stolen by Mamatolu. Hesitation dribble, good play. And good defense initially by Zorix, but great play by Mamatolu. Good concentration and gets the shooter's roll. Zorix. Had a great start. Can he keep it going? The young Feferiga star and well, Latvia national team star so far. Rehars Lomash. Great pass, and they just can't get it to go, but Kurutz with quick response gets to the other side of the hoop and tips it back with his left hand. Great job by Rodians. Kurutz, pull up Jay, is good. This is unreal basketball. Shane Larkin drains it. Porzingis on the bench, so's Osman. No, Osman is in. Good pass again. Back outside. And extra pass not needed, but they've still got it. Kuritz push shot is in and out. Another rebound for Klaus Chavez. He's number one rebounder. 5.7 rebounds a game in these qualifiers. He's going to get to that at this rate in this, in this half. Zingas coming back in. And Lomash looks a bit frustrated there coming out, but this has got to be a total team effort here for Latvia over these two games here and 
in England on Sunday. Excuse me, on Saturday. Porzingis, these teams are playing. No, I was right the first time. It is Sunday. Porzingis goes to the line for two shots. Just running, just kept running downhill in transition there. Twelve points. Four or six from the field, and Luka Bench has certainly got a good, good feel around this Latvian team. Bench also coaching at Pissarro alongside his Latvian duties. Coached since 1985, and now Latvia is his destination. 43-26, they lead. Against Turkey, Osman, Larkin. Sertac, Shamba with the screen, and Mayrus. Aganatan with a lot of issues here. And Porzingis just get back into the flow. And be that facilitator for Latvia. Larkin, such a good one-on-one -on -one player and great control and focus. But he's having to work really hard for his points. Turkey under the cosh here. In Riga, Latvia, Latvia leading and in control. It's a Latvia timeout. Let's listen in. It's a bonus having Coach Banshee speaking in English in his timeouts. So we can we not only hear the passion, we can just hear exactly what he's saying to his players. I hope you're enjoying the action and just looking at some of the team comparisons. 10 to 4 points from turnover, Latvia. 18 to 7 points from the bench, Latvia. 16 to 4 points in the bench, points in the paint for Latvia. So can they? They're doing great at the moment. Can they keep this going for the remainder of the game? We shall see. 43-28 they lead. And now the steal from Larkin. Porzingis chasing him down and he blocks him. And that was the Porzingis factor in full effect. Osman. And he scores. And Porzingis couldn't get that one on the block. Great move from Sedi Osman. They've got to find a way to, to get Pingis in foul trouble and get him away from blocking shots. Great concentration from Chedi Osman. Osman aiming for his third World Cup. Played at 2019 when Turkey were 22nd and played in the 2014 edition as well for Turkey. Average 20 points, just over 20 points a game in the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Over three assists and over two and a half, two, over two and a half assists and over three rebounds. When he's available, he delivers at a high level for Turkey. And again, another still sloppy from Zorix. Osman 
Osman, layup, finish. And Turkey getting back into this sloppy play, especially after the timeout from Banshee. Now it's more manageable. 10 point lead for Latvia. And that bounce pass right by the ankles of Mayeris from Strelnix. And Latvia out of sync just for a moment as Darius Bertans comes in, the captain, 32 years old, and Roland Smits. Both big players for Latvia. Larkin, guarded by Kurutz. Halfway through the second quarter here in Riga. Osman wants the screen from Zamba. Just pulls up off the dribble, off for three, and away come Latvia. Into the corner, shots up, and it's just off. Good rebound by Zamba. Larkin, good defence, and maybe again, Pozin he thought Pozingas was coming and missed his shot, bounce pass, behind the back attempt. But Turkey were back to break things up. Baseline inbound for Latvia. Schmitz to Stranix. Kozingis for three, just off. Tough to keep making those shots. Uh, Mamatolu with the rebound. Inside, outside, keeps it on his left-hand side, brings it out. Does Jedi Osman. He's, gonna, he's trying to just wheel and deal, but good job by Porzingis. A little bit too much one-on-one, -on -one maybe, by Osman. Trying to send a message to Latvia, or trying to, that he can deal with Porzingis, but Porzingis got crossed over, but then Osman doesn't like the call. He feels he was bumped by uh, Porzingis, but nothing called. Five turnovers to six. Turkey have six inside. Porzingis on the wing on the outside. <laughs> Couldn't get it to go. Ball's loose, and Turkey ball. Last off, Rodians Kuruz. I'd like to see Porzingis in the post. Just occasionally, start inside, he can always step out. Let's see if, if Latvia will use him at times in that position. And the ball's up, rebound, Porzingis, and away come Latvia. Strelnix brings it over the halfway. Left-hand dribble and the foul by Jedi Osman. And Kukut out for Latvia. And Bertans is in. Davis Bertans. He's coach Manchi. Italian league winner with Milan. And success wherever he goes. Porzingis just short on the J. Shots out. And the three is good for Dinas Bertans. The captain. Coming to aid Latvia, who had gone well off the boil. But that's a big three. They're up by 13. Behind the back. Marnie and again. And a foul. Pozingis possibly just overexerting, overextending himself. Urchan Osmani. Osmani knocks it down. J. 
just short on the second and Zingas with the rebound. 2.40 remaining in the second. And great job there by Latvia. And Bertans. Maybe it's Bertans, but Turkey straight back with the score. Korkmaz. Turkey will want this under 10 by the half. Another three is up just short and Shane Larkin with the rebound. Bertans with the fadeaway, no good, but that was good. And Larkin drains the three-point shot and he forces another Latvia timeout. It was a one-on-one -on -move, one -on -one move last time. This time goes left. Avoids the defense, elevates, and knocks it down. Nothing but net. Latvia lead, and they have timeout. It's a Turkey timeout. Let's listen in. It is a Latvia timeout. And Larkin is so important. To, I mean, it's 17 and a half points a game in these qualifiers. The Eurobasket qualifiers, which Turkey will start in Georgia in Tbilisi next Thursday. We averaged in four games 15 points a game, one rebound, seven assists. So he's averaging 7.2 assists over those most recent qualification campaigns. How can Latvia respond? We're going to find out. Under two minutes remaining in the quarter. Push shot is good, and they're playing really smart. Latvia, Janis Strelnik's just taking what the defense gives him on that play. They've just got to find a solution to Shane Larkin, who seems to be going wherever he wants on the court. Larkin goes down the middle. Extra pass, Chedi Osman for three, nothing but net. And the three key players in this Turkish team, Korkmaz, Osman and Larkin, all working together there. Shots up and drained again. Latvia respond. Davis Bertans. Dallas Maverick star and now being a star for Turkey shots up and it's good. <laughs> Jenny Osman, neither team can miss. This is extraordinary play. Into the last minute. Off one leg is just short for Yanis Strelnik. And here comes Osman, still Osman. And good defense without fouling by Bertans. That's a captain's play and he loves it. Osman looking for the foul, but nothing given. I think that's a good play by the Tur by the Latvian captain, Diris Bertans. In comes Rudy and Skirutz. And out comes Rihas Lomash. That's a man speaking with the official. But Larkin inbounding for Turkey, in motion, Osman. Pull up three is just short. And six seconds between game and shot clock. A real thriller here in Latvia. High scoring and high drama. Passing around the outside, shots up and it's good and it didn't look like it was going anywhere else for Roland Smith. Big time player makes a big time play and Latvia just keeping control of Turkey here on their home floor. It's timeout Turkey on the back of the three 
from Roland Smith. Let's listen in. Another big team play there from Latvia. Roland Smith's played just one game in these qualifiers so far. Played at Eurobasket 2017, the last major tournament that Latvia qualified for, and 5.6 points a game. In 14 and a half minutes a game. Of course, we're five years on from that now. And this is the new Latvia. Of course, Ingus played in Eurobasket 2017 as well. Larkin blocked! Roland Skurut's playing bigger than maybe he's ever played before. It's just plays at both ends of the floor, inspirational, and this is sensational. Because Shane Larkin is a top with the golden boots. He's a top, top player, and that's really got the crowd fired up as much as anything else today. And uh, Luca Vanshi, this guy is a top international coach, but I've seen him deliver technical sessions and fun sessions for, for youth players as well and uh, for FIBA. And he's got Tapia playing with real passion and understanding, togetherness, calmness. There's a lot going on and a lot going into this performance. The foul has been called on Rudians Karutz, but it's another message sent out to Turkey that they are going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. These are massive free throws for Larkin. Get it under 10 and he's nothing but net. Latvia have time, not much. Porzingis throws it and off the backboard. And Banky may be disagreeing with that call. Half time here in Riga, Latvia 56, Turkey 47. And Shane Larkin and Kuric going off, arm round the shoulder, discussing that last play. There's a lot to talk about from the first half. 56 points scored by Latvia. There's the two pointers, 11 8. We'll just deal with Latvia. 11 from 18, 10 from 19 from three, 80% from the line, 82% from the line for Turkey, 62% and 41% from three-point range and two-point range off the charts with the three-pointers. 20 rebounds to 12 for Latvia, 15 assists to seven for Latvia, two steals and three steals for Turkey. Top scorers, Pozingas 13, Bertans 11, and Smits 9, Larkin 15, Osman 11, Osmani with an early nine points for Turkey. the highlights and Porzingis was in the thick of things early that needed to be an up fake and step through and we'll just get rid of it Larkin to Urchan Osmani and then a three in the corner just good spacing and skip pass giving Smits the open three and then Larkin this is tough that step back lateral step it's a modern day shot Porzingis just 
right place, right time for that offensive rebound. But it was actually tipped out by Cortmax and straight into the hands of Paul Zingis. Crowd loving it. Blocked by Davis Bertans. And just having Paul Zingis here is it's security in and around the hoop, but the other players are stepping up and playing great D. Inside, outside, Paul Zingis in rhythm. Team basketball. Ball not touching the floor. And this was tough, even though it was... decided it wasn't a score. And then Zorix came in as well, really playing a good quarter and setting up his teammates. Coach Banky doing a super job with this team and Yanis Galaitis, his assistant. A nice play there from Rodion Skurots. And that was tough by Mamatolu. And then the miss by Kurutz and then getting his rebound on the other side. Larkin waits and waits and gets blocked, but Turkey saved it and then Billy Osman went to the line. Banky wanting more, wanting more, and he's getting more on the hole. Great layup and protection of the ball by Osman. And then Dearness Bertans, massive shot from behind the arc. And then Larkin's off the screen from Jamba. A step back from Darvis Bertans. There's your highlights. It's half time. Don't go anywhere. What a thriller we've got here in Briga. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation? Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. A young Sabara now put the pressure here. Friedrichs, but we got to steal it now. Rudy Fernandez time throws it down. Well, a bit of old Rudy fashion. Hardovich. Oh, leaves his man on the ground and buries the three. That will be one you see again. Hardovich. A little crossover freezes the defender, falls to the floor. The team for all the fight that they've given in the show. Jokovitis from deep, oh, that's a little bit adding salt to the wound. Well, as well now. Right under the basket, the Nova pass to Huacho Hernan Gomez. To get an early win in this first uh, competition window. Man, he goes inside, but he ah, throws it down. And the help was absent. There's Kai Vandervoort, the free now. There's a little kick out. It's worthy to go with a one-handed jam with a bit of authority one more time. Melly has it ripped away from him. That's Chenko. Nice pass. Heran is blocked. Unceremoniously blocked. Melly will advance it. Great hand. Super defensive effort. A throw down on the break. And Chichenko makes a statement. Great hands initially. And this was only going to go one way. And it did not back down. Get 
offensive rebounds. Look at the behind the back pass and the flush from Rudy Gobert. Showtime has arrived in Paris. But what do we have here? It gets rejected. Well, De Young said, you are not worthy for that one.
Welcome back to Riga in Latvia. And what a first half we have been treated to. Shane Larkin in pitcher again. Leads the team through the round one of the qualifiers and he's leading this team again. 15 points, two rebounds. He's averaging 17 and a half points a game. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna better that today. Just sensational play. Four of seven from the field, two rebounds, two assists. Let's go with the 15 points. And Chris Stapps, Paul Zingis. Now with the Washington Wizards in the NBA, 13.7 rebounds. Hope you're enjoying their, their highlights during the Larkins and Paul Zingis highlights during the halftime break. Here's Jedi Osman. Four of eight from the field, 11 points, three rebounds, two assists. So all the key players, certainly Osman, Porzingis, Larkin, delivering. Cormats, just five points, one rebound, one assist. Nurchin Osmani, very impressive as well, especially early on when they were leaving him open. Nine points, two of two from behind the arc. So Latvia really opened this game up. Biggest lead of 18 for Latvia. Six for Turkey. Let's listen in to the coaches. So don't forget to download the World Cup Qualifiers app. Everything you need to know as a fan, player, coach, commentator, official, everything you need from all around the world. Not just the European qualifiers going on uh, over this five, five day stretch, six day stretch in effect. Because the European qualifiers starting a day early than normal because Eurobasket, finals of Eurobasket get underway next Thursday. And again, look at Osman, but great recovery. He gets blocked initially, but he finishes with the left hand. He's shown excellent poise in the first half. Jedi Osman, Cleveland Cavaliers and Turkish national team star. Porzingis opts to make the pass, and he's getting his teammates wide open. And Shrelnik's the recipient there of unselfish play from Porzingis. Seven foot three with a guard mentality. That's pretty dangerous. Court Max, can he get going? Inside. Chamber blocked by Paul Zingis. Not in this house. And Latvia starting this quarter. They just missed that. Paul Zingis gets a hand to it, gets it back, kicks it out. Long gets another one. That's where I think he needs to be. Get inside, Chris Stapps. You could cause absolute havoc in and around that hoop. Jedi Osman, Larkin. This is really good stuff by Latvia after us. Great crossover, kick out, court match. Can he get his offense going? And he can, nothing but net for Volkan Korkmaz. He's up to eight points now. 61-52 Latvia, they can't shake Turkey off on their home floor, long way to go. Low match. Shot clock down to five. Porzingis. Porzingis. And attacks the basket, and there is a foul called on Turkey. Porzingis will go to the line for two shots. 
patient play there from Porzingis. Didn't panic. Got as far towards the basket as he could, and Erchan Osmani with the foul. Porzingis, three or four from the line so far. Tonight, two of six from behind the arc, three or four from two. 15 points, 10 rebounds, double-double already. Only two minutes down in the third quarter. Three assists as well, five blocks. All-star performance from Christus Porzingis. But whether he's on the floor or not, this is the really encouraging for Latvia, they are playing really well. They're not just waiting for Porzingis to make something happen. They're all getting on the bandwagon here, Latvia, and playing to the highest level that they can. They've been the best versions of themselves. And offensive foul for Turkey doesn't help their calls. They're going to have to really dig in here, Turkey. It's going the same sort of way as the first half with the Latvian runs. Can Turkey get a stop? Strelnex inside, Porzingis is fouled, and once he gets involved with the pick and roll and he rolls, that's all sorts of problems, and then the defense have to, they have to respect his role, and that's going to leave someone open on the outside. Shamba, Sertac, Shamba out, and the new big, 2 meter 6 Alper and Schengen. 20 years old, is in, and a real baptism of fire, trying to handle the multi-talented, multi-tooled Kristaps Porzingis, and it's incredible seeing him up close playing in these qualifiers. Injuries have been a problem with his NBA career. New York and Dallas Mavericks, of course, played with. Luka Doncic. Now with the Wizards, and now here in Riga, and will be in England on Sunday. Schengen inside against, and he gets it to go. That's really good play. Got right into the body of of Porzingis there, and get the score. Foul. And Banky really not happy with that decision. And Turkey will inbound with some pressure up the floor from Roland Smith, but they just drop back into their half-court defence. Ten-point lead for Latvia, 64-54. Court mats. Open three incoming, and it's just off Porzingis with another rebound. A nice mid-range jump shot. Rehas Lomash just taking what the defence gives him there. They're not rushing. Latvia playing under control. Porzingis comes out on the pick and roll. Larkin looking for options. Picks the ball up inside to back outside. Ball's loose. And Lomas was first to respond. Real team effort. Porzingis shoring up the defence in the key and all the other Latvian players quick to respond to any loose balls and Porzingis almost turns it over across the baseline catch shoot it's good for three Davis Bertans on fire big big performance from him great pass along the baseline 
And a big, big three, five of seven from the field for Bertans. And the lead is building again, 15-point lead for Latvia. Shetty Osman attacks and blocked by Paul Zingas. He wasn't giving him an inch, not in this house. Extra pass, tap pass. Three-pointer is good, and Latvia on the run yet again. Straunik's the recipient of a great tap pass. Total team basketball from Latvia. And it opens the door for wide open shots. Good shot, no. Great shot, yes. Great defense, yes. Chris Stapps Porzingis is everywhere. Timeout, Turkey. So, Turkey in a hole here. They dragged it all the way back to single digits, deficit. But Latvia have come out firing in this second second half, third quarter, and have extended the lead back up to 18, back to their biggest lead of the game. Larkin, what can he do? They're going to have to do it as a team. They can't just attack Porzingis, because he will block the shot or change the shot the way he's playing D at the moment. Schengen. Schengen and other help comes in and Bertans just swats it away they're doing it on their own it seems to be individual basketball against team basketball for Turkey and no help reverse layup and it's a 20 point lead and Latvia at the moment in complete control Davis Bertans with the foul. And this next player up for, for Latvia, Chavez in. And had some good minutes in the first half as well. Osman back out to Courtmass. Attacks off the dribble. Nice play. Good hesitation on the dribble there. And he gets the two. Could this be the start of another comeback for Turkey? They led early. In the early minutes of the first quarter. Sideline inbounds for Latvia. Lomash. Screen coming, Chavez pulls up for three and it's good and Latvia continue this hot streak from behind the arc. Fourteen of twenty-five from behind the arc, fifty-six percent inside. Schengen, no good defense without fouling again for Latvia. Bertans, still Bertans. He's going to take the three. He's going to make the three. Outrageous offense 
from Latvia. They're playing with so much confidence. They're playing without thinking. It's just response after response. Crazy pass. They've got numbers three on one. Ali Yu and the finish. Great catch. One hand, then two hand. Roland Smiths. There's our dearest star for this season, former Barcelona national team hero at the moment above the hoop. M. Riga, Turkey not getting back, that's tough, one hand, two hand finish. Beautiful play, Lomas with the assist, they're just doing it in tandem, in threes, together, and Turkey in big trouble. Let's listen to Coach Adaman's timeout. is off the charts. The Bertans is plus minus 30. The Lomax and Smiths and Strelnix all 19 to 30. And the plus minus. So it just shows they're doing it as a team. And Turkey, what can they do? James Metashan Burson is in. And that is a foul on J.D. Osman. But one more foul to give. Levers. Levers with the foul. That 15 points. And perfect at the line. One way to go still. Just under three minutes. Just under three minutes remaining here in the third. Here comes Lomas. Shot clock under 10. Ball not loosed by Sadiq Kavaga. Who's just come in. And another rebound. Now, did the ball hit the ring? Let's just check this out. Great rebound by Chavez. Again. And she's speaking to the officials. Team on the floor, get a group on the floor that can stem the flow. Great movement off the ball in the reverse layer is good for Rihars Lomash. Beautiful duo play there. It's 
you can get out the ball, make the defense turn their heads, make the help have to help, and they did it. And they score to Latvia. Low match, 12 points, two rebounds, two assists. It's needing to be calmed down by his teammates. Looks as though this. Technical foul for Lomax. After the score, he felt he was pushed. I think for Latvia, they don't need to give in Turkey any encouragement because this team can go off as well. Six games of the qualifiers so far, 23 minutes a game. 1.7 points a game. Catch and shoot for Turkey is just short. Offensive rebound for Turkey for Venus Hazard. Screen. Kabaga and Hazard attempts to go. Good rebound by Sadik Kabaga. He's 21 years old, two meters seven, played in three games of these qualifiers as Turkey get it in to the front court and slow it down. The lead by 21. Zorix. Sumeris. Shot clock running down into the corner, catch and shoot is good. Everything working for Latvia. Rihars Lomas makes up for his technical foul. Blemish with beautiful movement off the ball, drifts into the corner, knocks down the three. Hazard, he's having some good moments. Catch, shoot off the fake, another offensive rebound. Latvia needs to tighten that up under the hoop. Pull up jump shot is off the glass and long, and here comes Zorix, spin dribble. Pulls up. Cross court pass is off. Offensive rebound attempt by Brazudis. No good. Turkey come back. Number 12. And again, Sedi trying to size the defense up. One second between game and shot clock. Great moment pass. They can't get it to go. Time for Latvia to get a shot off. And they just missed. Good play from Lomash. Avoiding the defense. They had the chance there for the score at the end of the third quarter. At the end of three, Latvia 87, Turkey 63. The team stats two points, 67% Latvia, 55% from three, 16 of 29. Seven more threes than Turkey made, 78% from the line. And Turkey, nine of 18 from three, that's pretty good. 12 of 28 from two, 86%, 12 of 14 from the free throw line. And then Porzingis just comes across and Shamba gets it blocked. This is tough because it could have been called a foul because Porzingis' arm went down into end and shoulder, but nothing cool. Beautiful baseline pass and the catch and shoot. Davis Bertans is playing fantastic level. And again, defense without fouling. See the way. Porzingis moves his feet, and that, that's the way to move the ball. It was a three-on-one, and they made Turkey pay. Roland Smith with the alley-oop. The minutes for Porzingis, 17 minutes, 18 points, 30 efficiency, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 6 blocks. Six out of the team's eight blocks. Shane Larkin has done his utmost. 15 points in 22 minutes. 
two rebounds, three assists, and uh, they're looking to jet it. I think they've just been caught in a whirlwind of Latvian basketball supremacy here, and uh, really impressive. Both the Bertans brothers playing fantastic darts, and Deiris, the captain. Those are 17 points. Lomax 15. Zingis 18, Roland Smith 11. Getting a lot of different scorers. Marta Sports hasn't played yet. Double team from Turkey, they've got to do something. There's the flip side, 80 91 to stand up to get all the screens and another three! <laughs> Terrence! Dearest Bertans! Just loving that three, and when it all comes together, basketball is a beautiful game, and it's tough for Turkey, but Latvia in basketball heaven here at the moment. 90 points already, and we've only just started the fourth quarter, and they're holding Turkey to 63, which is pretty impressive on the other end. Six points inside. They can't get it to go. Sengen looks up to the sky, holds his hands up, his palms up to the sky. Just can't quite work out this Latvian team and how to beat them. Quick catch and shoot is just off for Bertans. There is Bertans. Attack behind the back bounce pass. That is tough. What a pass. Schengen with the finish, Paul Max with the assist. Left hand behind the back, I wonder if we'll get another look at that. Remember, two games in their qualifiers due to a team's draw. That here in England, in Great Britain, on Sunday. Pass inside and the floater. That is beautiful. And Angeles Grazulis played in all six games, averaging just under 10 points a game for Latvia. It's a nice play, but it's because of the no look pass. Hazard blocked. Seamus Hazard not in this house. I think the foul's been called though. Too much, too much contact, but it's the. And that's correct call. Mayoris came over, but too much body contact by Grazulis. Let's see who the foul goes against. It's actually against me. Mayoris. Grazulis has up. Just 23 years old. Two GB games. 29 points in the round one. Nine points, 3.5 rebounds. Three assists in 17 minutes. And those two wins. in Crystal Zorix playing a key role today. Good movement off the ball, lots of movement off the ball. Screen offered and then the roll, but turnover. Court Max, Court Max blocked! And Schengen couldn't get it to go, and again, Latvia have numbers and just intent by Latvia on defence. And Hazard with the foul in his own. Still, if you like, in Turkey's backcourt, I think they just called a regular foul. Two teams 
missing fouls. Hope you enjoy the action here. FIBA Basketball World Cup qualification, round two. Latvia in control, and every loose ball just seems to fall into their hands because they react quick up physically. And this time, Rodion's Karuz with the finish. Hazard looking for openings. Inside, Schengen. And wow. They just need to move that ball a bit quicker when they do, Turkey, and they cause a lot of issues. between him and the officials this evening. And first three throw in and out for Apple and Schengen. Seven points. One rebound. Six from the line for Alperin. 20 years old and he's having to grow up fast here in this cauldron at the Regal Arena in Latvia. Karuz movement and the foul and downhill goes Kristen Zorix. The great play from Karuz with the, with the play where he just moved away. Looks as though they were going to make some sort of handoff. Decoy play opened everything up. Perfect timing for Latvia on that play. And she's just got them playing nice and open basketball and quick decision making. There was all sorts of problems for Turkey tonight. Oh, Latvia playing, I think, with some real extra venom tonight. They're not going to Eurobasket next, which starts next week in Georgia. Italy and Czech Republic in Germany. They want to make the next World Cup next year, next August. In the Philippines, Indonesia and Japan, they want to be there. And at the moment, they're doing everything they can to get in the box seat. Shot clock running down for Turkey and a foul call. from the ball with Alex Mayeris. Pulls out Kabaga. Shot clock running down. Still running down. Ball's loose and they get... That they get it, they get it again. Run out, of, run out of court down that sideline. Maybe just a little bit too eager to push it ahead. And good job by Seamus Hazard to break that play up. Good quick pass and spin. And Shangan just can't get the finish. Really keen on him, not giving him any. Is it that's Latvia, not giving him any space underneath. It's been the same throughout. Brazilians coming back in, just managing minutes for everybody. And the crowd loving the fact he's come back in. Just want to make sure that Turkey don't go on a run, which Turkey desperately need to do. It's just 17 minutes tonight. Handoff action. Kuritz. Kuritz right through the reverse layout and no resistance from the Turkish defense. Worrying signs there. And 
again, another steal. Just breaking the game up. And five minutes left. Latvia in complete control. And they've done it as a total team effort. The first time I've said that during this game, but that's what it is. Nobody forcing any shots. All playing together on team, helping, rotating, scrambling when required. And of course, having Kristaps Porzingis playing with supreme confidence at both ends of the floor. And now, as Omrat Vitting doesn't get a shot off. Latvia, and it certainly is a big night. They're five and one from the first round, don't forget. All results carried forward into the second round. And the attempt to that unit for Zingis. No good. Penetrate kick. Underneath. And good strong play there by Turkey. And Seamus Hazard gets the finish. Again, just give and go. And Zorix gets the finish before Turkey had responded in defense. Inside, Kabaga turns off the glass. Sent by Bursan to get the rebound, and it's still Turkey ball, and they need more hustle. And the crowd in full voice. And the shot just a big rebound by Porzingis. Turkey plays Serbia on Sunday at home. Be looking like a must win game already. Great drama here in Riga Latvia. Porzingis on hand in the left hand reverse. Going out from the right, no good for Zorix. Here comes Turkey it's off two feet, having to change his shot because of the presence of Porzingis. As we tick down to three minutes remaining in the fourth, Latvia. In complete command, Zorix. Extra pass, attacks the closeout, floater off the glass, and Porzink is trying to pull the hoop down. With a crushing offensive rebound, but no good. Inside is good. Play. Right, out. Seven 
points for him, five assists. And rebound, really growing into his role with the Latvian national team, which is 24 years old. Still playing uh, with Beth Riga. Screen for Porzingis, he picks and pops and drains the three. Unbelievable talent before our eyes. Chris that Porzingis, great to see him healthy and helping his national team, but just raising the levels of these qualifiers. And uh, Turkey respond with a three of their own. Hazard. Famous Hazard. Doing a nice job for Turkey in a losing effort, as it seems at the moment, unless Turkey can turn it around very quickly. Strelnix, another pick and pop. Pulls Ingis, and he tries to go in for the slam on a double clutch of two feet. That would have just been unreal. And he's enjoying himself, and why wouldn't you? Look at that. Up and over and through. Riding the crest of a Latvian basketball wave here in Riga. And coach Janis Galaitis with a dry smile on his face. He's just nodding and saying, this is good. This is what we want. We keep playing like this. We're going to the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. Or we have a very good chance. Missing out. Painfully. And they beat Montenegro, but not by enough to miss out on the 2019 edition. Kuzingas was a big, big part of the Latvian team in the 2017 Eurobasket as he comes off, handshakes. And uh, the issue for Latvia, of course, and for a lot of these teams that have NBA players, as he goes out to the baseline as well, is they won't be available. November and February windows, but the way Latvia are playing as a group, they'll still be playing at a high level and a big time three from the corner. Every point is crucial. And Urchin Osmani, as he started the game, finishing the game with a big three. Strunix, high screen for Maris. Open shot incoming is good! For Andres Grazoulis, everybody is getting into the action from behind the arc. And Andres Grazoulis, the, the latest Latvian player to register a three-pointer. Balls loose. Turkey respond quickest. Balls loose again and great persistence by Sadik Kabaga. 21-year-old, two metres, seven into the last minute. Christian Zorix in to finish this off as Lomax comes out. 15 points, three rebounds, three assists. Strunix. Zorix goes for the handoff, not required. Off, off ball movement, screen. Maris rolls into the corner, catch and shoot. Unbelievable play now from Latvia. If you're open, you will get the ball, and this is how it's been pretty much from the first minute. And that's how we want basketball played. It's a team game in Latvia, playing like a team. Great step back from Seamus Hazard, of course. And there's lots of room for individual skill, just like that. But the best team has won this evening as we tick down just one second. In fact, Shot clock and game clock are tied up. Shot fake back outside. They don't need to put anything up. Too crazy. Zorix will get the last shot if he wants. Step back. Three off the glass. He's no good. But Latvia have beaten Turkey convincingly in the Riga Arena. A wonderful scoreline for Latvian fans. Latvia 1-11. 111. Turkey, 85. Incredible scenes here in the Riga Arena. Smiles all round and 
just high level team basketball. Everybody on the score sheet, one player, Artis Corrency, didn't get in, everybody scored. Everybody contributed to an amazing game. 31 assists, we haven't spoken about team assists. Incredible. There's the team shooting percentages. 69% from two, 55% from three, 80% from the line. Outstanding for Latvia. 32 rebounds to 19, 26 assists. It's saying uh, Porzingis, 18 points, double double for him, 17 Bertans, Lomas 15, Larkin 15, Osman 15, Cormax 10, the big three for Turkey. But there must have been about big seven or eight for Latvia, and that's why they were so difficult to handle. Great play, congratulations Latvia on a big win. Here's some of the highlights. Good start by Jenny Osman. Outside the three point area in the key, offensively and defensively. Sending turning it tough with the swarming, suffocating defense from, from Latvia. And Davis Bertans getting a three of his 17 points tonight. A great foil for Christas Porzingis. And then just Przingis is so elegant. It's good to see him healthy because he can move and then he just times his block to perfection. And then it, just nothing happens there on the defense and Lomas gets to the hoop and a great three-on-one break, correct decision. Seli Osman comes over and they throw the alley-oop. Thank you, demanding of his players, but just making them play together. And they're all buying in. Great pass. Court mass there, that's the class. And then the floater from Grazulis, who came in. Just six minutes, eight points, and a rebound. Everybody contributed. Rodians, eight points, four rebounds. Kuritz, and that was beautiful as well. A lot to admire about the Latvian basketball tonight. Turkey just, just couldn't deal with the hustle and the hassle they were getting on defense. And that's just beautiful, just give and go. Great angle, pass on time on target. Turkey plays Serbia Sunday at home. And that be a go to England to give the English fans, the British fans, a treat. They play on this, Jubilee have got all they can handle. So there's 111.85 confirmation of that. Serbia, Greece and Belgium, Great Britain to come. Latvia in complete control for most of the game, and they are now four and one. Greece three and one. Turkey dropped to two and three. Massive game now for them against Serbia, who are one and three at the moment. So Latvia top group by in round two after the first game of round two is complete. Exactly what Latvia would have wanted this evening. Turkey have got to rub, brush themselves down and get back to it. On Sunday at home on their home floor. Now, all the big players for Turkey were present.
Latvia have Porzingis, Bertans, Sedi Osman, Korkmax played for Turkey, but Latvia, big, big win. They head Group High.